It's Friday. It's Friday. It is Friday. And this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church. And this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And I have an awesome word that I want to share with you on today. It's going to come out of 1 Peter 1 and 20. And the title of this is The Eternal Lamb. And yes, we're just coming off of uh, Resurrection Day, which was last Sunday. And we're just looking forward, just moving forward. We just want to stay in that same vein of just thinking about the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ and how important that is, that moment in time, how important that is for our lives. Amen and hallelujah. So the word today, again, is coming out of First Peter 1 and 20. And this is what the word says. Christ was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in the last times for your sake. And here's what I want you to get out of this message today. Jesus is the holy lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He came into this world to die for our sins. His death was not an accident. His mission was set in eternity. Although his death took place nearly 2000 years ago on a cross outside of Jerusalem, in the mind and the plan of God, it was set in motion before the creation of the world. When God planned for our salvation, there was no universe in no earth yet. The stars did not yet shine, nor did the sun give light. Amen and hallelujah. Before creation. So I want you to understand this is before creation in the depths of eternity. God had already set his heart on you. In Jesus, the son was chosen to be your slain uh, and take the place of you on the cross. Amen and hallelujah. And he did that on our behalf. The same is true for each and every one of us that are believers. The cross of Christ was not the sign of defeat, but that of triumph. Christ did not die as a victim or a martyr, but as our redeemer. And yet he died willingly. He voluntarily, he died willingly for you and for me. He gave himself for you and for me and was chosen for that mission from eternity. He glorified the father in his death and won eternal life for you and for me. Amen and hallelujah. Praise be to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I want you to keep that in mind, not only on Resurrection Day, but keep that in mind each and every day that you are alive. The Bible says that everything that has breath shall praise the Lord. And by him dying on the cross, he reconciled us back to God and gave us life. And check this out. He gave it to us life more abundantly. So go out and live your life abundantly for Christ. Amen and hallelujah. Let us pray. Holy God, we are amazed that Jesus voluntary surrender was planned in eternity. You decided to love each one of us even before you created the world. We thank and bless you. It's in Jesus name that we pray. Amen. 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 And hallelujah. Glory to God. So family, until this time next week, Friday, I want you all to know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I also want you to know and feel that God loves you so, so, so much more. So I want you to go out on this weekend and remember what this whole thing of the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ means to both you and also for your neighbor. So go out and have a most favored weekend.